So yeah, I am PI on SENSUM, which stands for Smart Sensing of Landscapes Undergoing Hazardous Hydrogeomorphic Movement. Um, this is partnering with a range of different partners, um, both in the UK, Switzerland, and in Nepal as well. Um, just moving on, basically what we're doing is uh, it's kind of a transfer of technology from um, some ecologists on our team, uh, Aldina Franco in particular at the University of East Anglia, one of my co-investigators who's been using um, sensors, uh, a GPS and an accelerometer, a low power, low cost sensor to monitor wildlife movement, mostly bird movement over several years and actually has a, um, a kind of small offshoot company called Moveset Move Tech Telemetry that she's involved in setting up. And on a past uh, project funded by the NERC um, Shear Catalyst Program, we installed these within boulders in a landslide in Nepal uh, to try and see whether we could detect hazardous boulder movement. And in fact, what we found is that embedded boulders could actually tell us something about the movement of the landslide as a whole. Um, so this is now what we're aiming to do within Sensum. We're aiming to um, install sensors on boulders and other debris uh, on hill slopes uh, and also in rivers for the first time. Uh, basically to be able to use this uh, tagged debris to tell us something about uh, hydrogeomorphic hazards. So we, our plan is to establish about eight wireless sensor networks, uh, as I said, in the UK, Switzerland and Nepal. Um, on the right, you can just see a few of the sites that we're planning on um, setting up in the UK. One up in Scotland at the Rest and Be Thankful uh, in partnership with AECOM, who do a lot of work monitoring that hill slope. Um, also in partnership with AECOM at Lyme Regis, looking at some of the stabilized versus non-stabilized parts of the cliffs, um, and particularly the boundary between, between the stabilized and unstabilized parts and whether our sensors can help to understand the, how well uh, stabilization measures are working. Um, and then finally, in a number of woody debris sites, um, firstly, starting on Dartmoor, possibly some up in Cumbria or Scotland yet to be decided. Uh, on the left hand side, you can just see the, how the wireless sensor network works. Uh, so we install our sensors, in this case within boulder debris um, on a landslide. Um, the sensors activate on detecting movement um, and send data to a long range wide area network um, receiver, which then gets sent up to the server um, and onto our, onto our laptops. Um, another big aspect of Sensum is making our sensors smarter. Uh, so we have our uh, software engineer in Scotland, uh, sorry, uh, Switzerland, Mira Miko, currently updating the firmware to enable a gyroscope and a magnetometer um, to complement the existing accelerometer and GPS. Uh, and we aim to run some laboratory experiments led by Irina Manzella at the University of Plymouth. This is just a preliminary one we ran before the project was funded and back in February. Um, and we are gonna be using machine learning uh, to characterize various different movements and to be able to embed algorithms within the sensors uh, to detect certain types of hazardous movement that we want to be alerted about. Uh, and finally, we'll be designing a web interface uh, and some kind of early warning system, um, enhancing understanding and models of mass movements um, and creating visualizations uh, to facilitate communication and management of both landslide and flood hazards. And I think that's all I've got. This is just to put some faces to the names. <laughs>